Hello, everyone. Welcome to Apollo ELD portal. Uh, today, I'm going to walk you through the logbooks. Uh, so from here, you can see the important information. You can see the name of the carrier, the region. I will take you th through both US and Canada. The uh, status, whether the driver is active, inactive, or all. Uh, you would select the driver, and then you would select the date uh, for which you want to view those logs. So I'm going to go ahead and select my date, and then I am going to hit Execute. Uh, so essentially here you're able to see the logs um, and the way that they appear in Canada. You will see the difference between U.S. and Canada. Uh, first, for the Canadian logbooks, I, I want to show you all the information here that's uh, being recorded based on the mandate. Uh, it includes operating zone, cycle, total hours, uh, total hours and cycle, uh, remaining hours, uh, ELD certification, ELD identifier, ELD provider. Uh, any malfunctions, unidentified driving, data diagnostics. So you can see there's a, a bunch of information that's shared here for the driver. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. These are the driver's logs. So from here, you're able to follow along and see the different statuses with the drivers. And now you can see that as I follow along the different events, the little pinpoints are lighting up. So if I select on a pinpoint, it is going to give me specific information about this event. So it's going to give me the date, the time, the driver, the event, the asset, and the geolocation. From here, there's different action icons. Uh, so little pencil is to edit the event. Uh, the little trash bin is to delete. And this right here is to add any remarks. And it tells you what the requirements are. So whenever you have Hover over uh, any icons here on Apollo. Uh, we'll indicate what uh, information needs to be filled out or what's required or not required. Uh, so from here, a fleet manager dispatcher is able to suggest log edits, and this is how it appears. So let's say you know the driver wasn't in the sleeper berth on this time. Uh, he accidentally switched, or she accidentally switched to sleeper berth, but they should have been on duty. Uh, the date, the time of the suggestion, you can see everything that needs to be filled out here will show up with a red asterisk. Uh, once everything is filled out, the fleet manager dispatcher will click on save. Once that is saved, the, um, the driver will receive a notification that log edits have been suggested to them. Uh, it is then up to the driver to assume or reject those log edits. Uh, and you'll be able to see that information on this tab here. So on log edit tab, you'll be able to get a breakdown of all the logs that were uh, requested uh, and um, accepted. So you will have that full breakdown and I'll show you that as we move further, further along on the portal. From here, you can see the change in driver duty status. So essentially, the same graph you have here, uh, you get a further breakdown of the events here. This is also a really nice graph because the driver sees the exact same graph on the driver application, which I will walk you through later. So from here, you have different information. So the time, the event, the location, uh, the distance, um, the hours elapsed, distance traveled, record status. Uh, so you can really follow along here. Uh, also, I want to point out if the fleet manager dispatcher needs to add an event for a driver. So let's say forgot an event, uh, you could do that here. So the current stat, the status for this event that you're suggesting, the time, location, and remarks. As I move further along, I can see a uh, login and log out and certification of rods here, change in driver cycle. So if this is a cross border, uh, if this driver is crossing the border, you would be able to see the change here uh, for the rule set. Uh, any comments or remarks will be notated here, engine power up and engine power down. Now I'm going to go ahead. Um, also here, I'd like to point out that you're able to export this data. So here I'm going to go ahead and go to the U.S. version. I'm going to go ahead and click Execute. I'm 
all the information is remaining the same. Uh, here you can see it's a, a little bit more simplified. Um, the graph still remains the same. The pinpoints are still there. So the, the, the fleet manager dispatcher is able to see uh, this specific event. Uh, again, they can edit uh, the event, delete the events, or add any remarks to the event. I'm able to see also the rule set that the driver is working under, the, the home base, et cetera. And then here I get the full breakdown of the logbook. So again, uh, I have the different status events here, the time with the, time, uh, the timestamp and date, uh, any odometer readings, dis distance in miles, uh, certification of the rods, uh, and from here, that fleet manager or dispatcher can also edit, delete, or add remarks to the events. If they wish to add an event, uh, just like Canada, they would do so here. Uh, so adding an event, the status, the time, location, and remarks, and click on, on save. And then if I scroll further down, so this is the information that's provided essentially for the US version of the logs. Again, you're able to export this data. So if you want to export a file, you would choose a range in time, uh, any commentary, and you can go ahead and export the records. Uh, so th these are the log books. And again, if you make any suggestions to the logs, you would be able to see under log edits whether the driver accepted or rejected those log edits.